This is the Jeep we've all been waiting for. This is the Jeep we all want. A shortened, two-door, lightweight, affordable Wrangler. And in this video, Nathan and I are bringing you around this Jeep, talking about what this is, and more importantly, what it could be. All right, Nathan, so what are we looking at? We're looking at actually what is an older concept. This is Shortcut. And Shortcut, well, it literally is Shortcut because this took a Wrangler two-door and shortened it quite a bit and basically gave you everything you need and nothing you don't. And I'm literally saying that because no doors, no back seat, no spare tire. What you have here is a V6, automatic transmission, four-wheel drive, Dana 40s. This is a vehicle that just is a basic off-roader. No fancy lockers, nothing like that. Now, the reason why I'm excited about this and Tommy, I think as well, is because recently we did a video where we were talking about various automakers, including Jeep, building a much more affordable, smaller Jeep for folks who want to actually afford an off-roader, a proper off-roader. And something like this is kind of what we're talking about because its overall size is only about a foot longer than my old Suzuki Samurai. Now, Nathan, this is why this is so important. So this is a 2016 Easter Jeep Safari concept, but they brought it back this year in 2024. And you know, Nathan, that could be a sign that Jeep is working on something a little special, a more affordable stripped down version. This company is very deliberate in the actions that they make at the Easter Jeep Safari. They're really deliberate in teasing things and I'm hoping that this is a teaser. I would agree 100%. Now, a couple things you should know, there is room back here for a rear seat, but there is no rear seat back here. Yeah. Obviously what they do is they take these vehicles and chop them up and everything else. Now, Mark Allen, who used to be head of Jeep Design, he is responsible for this vehicle with other people. Uh, here we go, look at that, shortcut. Yeah, now let's talk about what makes this Jeep so special, Nathan. So it started out life as a two-door JK, right? but they took 14 inches out of the length and they also heavily revised the design. So this is not actually a JK grille. This is unique to this vehicle. That's right. Now, what you can see right here is they also took out some length in the front bumper. They did everything they, go, they could to make the approach angle as, well, frankly, as good as you could possibly make it. I mean, honestly speaking, if you look where this bumper comes versus where the tires go, yeah. that's extraordinary. You could practically go up a wall. But what's really cool is they did the same thing in the back. Yeah, right. Now, this tub is also heavily revised. Nathan, if, if I had to guess, we're probably looking at a several hundred thousand dollar concept. Oh, easily. Because not only did they change the grill on the bumper, but this whole tub is different. This cut line is different from a production Jeep. The, uh, the way that the fenders meet up, all of this is revised and it looks factory, but that all came at great expense. That's correct. And also remember, it's a Jeep. It's a proper Wrangler. As such, it's based on a frame and they had to take that frame and condense that as well, and that's tough. Yeah, and we also have this sports bar back here, so it doesn't have a traditional sports bar from a standard JK. It's got this little baby one that kind of extends around the side. The fuel filler had to move to the trunk here, Nathan. Yeah, because it used to be back here, <laughs> and it's no longer here a spot, so this makes sense. I don't think something like this would be like part of the production of a future vehicle like this, but I still think it's a really cool, simple solution to what this vehicle has. Now, bear in mind, they would, of course, add a tire here. So what would that be? About 150 to 200 pounds. And if you're thinking about the mounting brackets and all the other stuff they'd have here, so they're saving weight there. That seat and all the brackets there, that's probably another 100 pounds right there. Altogether, if I recall, this thing was like 900 pounds or something less than the equivalent two-door Wrangler. It doesn't even have a standard swing gate from a Wrangler. No. It's a custom little tailgate, which is really cool, that folds down. And Nathan, I'm going to give you the camera. Let's talk about some of the changes on the inside. This year's Easter Jeep Safari coverage is brought to you by our friends over at AccuAir. AccuAir does a four-corner air suspension setup for the Wrangler JL that is now part of the Mopar ecosystem, which means you can have it installed and warrantied at your local Jeep dealer. It's a four-corner height-adjustable air suspension. You can slam the Jeep down to help you get in and out, or you can lift it up to tackle some bigger obstacles. Check them out in the link in the description below. So Nathan, the inside of this Jeep is bare bones and stripped down. We've got this really cool plaid design with this alligator finish on the seat. No screens, 
Uh, no fancy features in here, no adaptive cruise control. This is simple, basic round mirrors, basic button radio. This is what I'd want in an all new affordable open top Wrangler. Oh yeah, Nathan. That sounds pretty good. Basic Pentastar 3.6 V6. It's got kind of a good growl. You know, normally I do not like exhaust pass, pass, packages, passages. I said passages, packages on the um, on the Pentastar. Normally they sound like industrial to me. This one, it's kind of got a nice little growl to it. You're exactly right, my dude. So Nathan, let's talk about what this could look like if this was to be made into a future product. So I would probably expect something like this Pentastar under the hood. So right around 280 horsepower, but this Jeep is so small and lightweight, it absolutely zooms. And then perhaps even the two liter turbo could make it under the hood of a new tiny, tiny Wrangler. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's a little bit lighter. Perhaps that would be something that you'd want. This is a vehicle to save weight. I know I'm one to talk. But <laughs> I know. But seriously, they want to make this as light as possible. I mean, look at the mirrors themselves. They say to wait on those as well. Yeah. They've done everything they can to make this a very lightweight vehicle. No roll bar going around us, only the rear loop bar, really. So if you're thinking about the powertrain, how can you make that lighter and yet still maintain power? Perhaps a two liter turbo would be the way to go. I don't know. And look, realistically, if this were to come into production, you'd probably need doors. You'd probably need side curtain airbags, right? Yep. This is not a particularly safe vehicle, but I would kind of just want something exactly like this in my cut down Wrangler. A little hood bump on that custom hood, a short wheelbase, pretty light steering, 35 inch tall tires are plenty on this vehicle. More they than look, enough. They look huge. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is awesome, Nathan. And um, I'm really excited about why they brought this back eight years after the, this car was revealed. It might be a hint that something's coming up. That's happened before at Jeep, so this wouldn't be the first time. Now, what would you expect something like this to cost when it, when it, if it were to hit dealers, Nathan? Okay, so let's first of all imagine that it has all the required safety components on it and probably a tire hanging off the back. So it's gonna be heavier and it's gonna be safer. So it's gonna be required that they have that type of expensive tech on there, right? Yeah. They'll probably have to put some sort of screen on here because they have to have a reverse camera, it's required. True that. So those things combined, I would imagine this would be something that would start at about $35,000. 35? Yep. Now I would hope maybe even a little cheaper, maybe like 25 grand. I would hope. Topping out at 40, because then you're gonna, if you go too much more than that, you're gonna start interfering with Wrangler prices. Yeah. But um, look, we live in an era of pretty high inflation. That's so my issue, right? I think you're probably right, yeah. yeah. But the way that this vehicle performs off-road, you know, at the East of Jeep Safari, we see hundreds of vehicles on 37, 40 inch tall tires and they're huge behemoths that kind of lumber down the trail. This is like a little lightweight pocket rocket. It just yeah. dies and pitches like it's nothing. Yeah, it's like a little beach buggy almost, right? Um, so they put a lot of time and effort into the fact that <laughs> it's just kind of fun and ridiculous, open diffs, you really don't need lockers for so much of what you do. And I know that even though I love lockers as well, but this thing is just basic. You know what I would love? Smaller tires. Okay. Okay, so Steely's with smaller tires, once again, bare bones, and I would love it if they could somehow keep it under 30 grand. That'd be awesome. As an entry level vehicle, something like this, just for the folks out there who want one, and also maybe a manual transmission. Yeah, this one's a five-speed auto. I know. I, I am noticing you do have lockers down there on these Dana 44 axles. No kidding, this yeah, is. I forgot that they did that. Oh, it's been yeah. a lot of years. Okay, well, it has been a while, but we haven't been using them today. No, we really don't need them out here. Nah. Yeah, Nathan, I think you're right. Like 28, 29, 30 inch wheels. Mm -hmm. Solid axle would be awesome, but it would probably be independent suspension. Open top, no doors. This could bring in a new age for Jeep. That's what I think they need to do, and I think they need to do it now. Yeah, they need to do it now. Well, folks, let us know what you think. Is this something you would buy? And as always, this has been Tommy and Nathan. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Head over to alltfl.com where you can find all the details on the 2024 Easter Jeep Safari. We're having a great time out here. And Jeep, we're imploring you, build this thing. Build this. This would be so cool. Thanks, guys.